Okay, this is the uh, Pathfinder in Illustrator. Uh, you can just get it by just going to the window, Pathfinder, Control shift f 9 Alright, um, you can make a lot of what seem to be quite uh, complicated shapes. Uh, actually, uh, very, very simple. Alright, first one here is the Unite tool. Uh, the, yep, the Unite. Alright, now I've just created these shapes all over the top of each other. Alright, very simple. Now I'm just going to select everything like so and just hit Unite. Alright, and uh, there you have it, pretty straightforward. Okay, this next one. Alright, I'm just going to get a uh, circle here. I've already created it up before. And I'm just going to rotate from the middle here. I should say I've got my uh, smart guides on at the moment. All right, just helping me uh, find my location and everything. All right, there we go. Now, there you go. It tells me I'm in the center. Now, okay, I've got my rotate I'm in the center. I'm going to press my option or the Alt key and click once. All right, and here I'm just going to uh, do 45 degrees and copy. All right, next is uh, duplicate, which is Command D. I uh, don't know where it is on here, but uh, anyway, Command D. Okay, and it just flicks it, um, just uh, duplicates whatever I did. All right, now I want to select all these orange balls. Select, same, fill and stroke. All right, that just gets me to select all my uh, orange with black stroke. Now, I'm just going to shift click the back and I'm going to next select my minus front option. Okay, there we go, pretty simple. Okay, this next uh, sort of tennis ball type looking thing, a little bit different. Now I've created uh, just a round circle and a round uh, ellipse here. All right, now at the moment, I've just got a pink stroke. Uh, what I want to do is I don't want that to be a stroke. I actually want that to be sort of say a hollow, hollow circle. All right, so I need to go Object Expand. All right, there we go, Fill and Stroke. Okay, all right, now you'll see over here that it's no longer, a, it's no longer an outline, it's a, uh, it's a fill. All right, so I'll do this one to over here as well. Object Expand. And okay. All right, there we go. Now I'm just going to select my back my back green circle, and I'm just going to edit copy. All right, so I'll select one, select the other, and it's this next one here, it's the intersect. Okay, there we go. All right, now I wanna get my green circle back, edit, paste in back. There we go, all right, and I'll just do the same with this one here, click one, shift click second, and intersect. There we go. And edit, paste in back. Okay, there we go. Next one along. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, I've got my stroke here. Object, expand. Okay. Object, expand. Okay. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to select all three objects, and this time, this is the exclude. Alright, and there we go. Alright, quite simple. Alright, and the last one. Alright, I've got my uh, green circle here. Uh, I'm just going to use a pen tool, a pencil tool. And I'm just going to create, just draw a little line over, just like so. All right, go back to my select tool. Okay, select both. Now I'm going to press divide. Okay, there we go. Now, okay, what I might do is just get rid of this uh, stroke. All right, none. Let me. There we go. 
All right, <coughs> now what I want to do is I want to use my group selection tool up here. It's the white arrow with the plus sign. And I'm just going to just move these around. All right, just around like so. All right, so uh, look, there's just uh, plenty of options with this tool. Um, we'll be using it a lot uh, in this in my Illustrator class. So just get used to it. You can do some quite uh, interesting shapes with it.